Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for June 4th through June 10th, the first full week of June. This is for the sign of Virgo. First week of June, first full week. Now keep in mind that the energy is fluid, the timing is fluid. We're all at different spots, so this may have happened, may be happening, or could be in the future, okay? So this is for the sign of Virgo. Energies that I am picking up on for the first week of June, June 4th through June 10th. You know, I almost forgot my other decks. I'm going to get you two oracle cards if I can find my other deck. Just keep these going. We're going to get you one of these. If it pops out while um, I'm shuffling and it flips, you get to see it now. Otherwise, we, we, we will uh, reveal it at the end. This is for the sign of Virgo. Now we're going to get you one of these. Same thing applies. If it pops out and flips over, you get to see it now. Otherwise, we will reveal it at the end. Generally, my readings are love readings, so if you apply it to work, so be it. But I call them love readings because that's my, that's what I focus on. So, now, Virgo, we're pretty much almost done, I believe, with these. Isn't that funny? That is you. The hermit is represented by Virgo, and but it's reversed. So you may not be feeling in your element this week. You may be feeling like you're lonely. You could be feeling like you're rejected or you're going to reject somebody. There's a feeling of rejection, isolation, loneliness. You may be going through a midlife crisis. You have to make a decision. Do you stay or do you go? Do I stay or do I go? You have two paths. That's what this card is. And that, that's why you're probably feeling isolated. You're going to have to reject one of them, right? I mean, that's what's going on here. I, it's, you know, the saga continues. Will the grass be greener on the other side? <sighs> you know, but the thing is is you're going to have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. You have to listen to your inner guide regarding this situation. You do. It's, it's about following your own path, seeking guidance, and listening to the guidance that you receive. Sometimes you receive the guidance from your intuition. Sometimes you receive it from a mentor or somebody that you really respect. But are you listening to any of the advice you're getting? Or not. I mean, this King of Swords, somebody is, 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 this is a harmful person. It is in reverse. It's harmful. Whether you're harming yourself or somebody's harming you, the King of Swords in reverse is abusive, neglectful, bitter, uh, harsh. It's very harsh. This person um, maybe maybe you're bitter and you're you're bitter because you have to make this decision and you're gonna have to reject one of these people or or situations <laughs> that can make somebody angry and this is angry somebody is angry maybe you are afraid to make somebody angry. And that's why now you've probably isolated yourself because of the fears. But you're holding on to something you don't need to. Why don't you just let it go? Drop it. Drop it. Let it go. Release it. Maybe some of, you know, you, okay. You need to stop holding on to something that doesn't serve you. It's not doing anything for you. It's in the past. It's something from the past because it's connected to this side. 
This is the future. This is the past. I said you had two paths. Remember, this is the past. This is the future. The world is in front of you. Let go of this issue that is killing you. It's causing you a midlife crisis because you're still holding on to it. You're. It's like... Ugh. You're resisting this change and it's causing you an unsurmountable amount of stress when you have the ability to let it go. But you can't let it go because it's financially secure. But it sure as hell ain't happy. It ain't. And there is no victory and success there. There's a resent and there's a loss of respect. And you aren't making any progress in whatever situation this is. I'm not sure what it is. Somebody's not making progress. There's no victory and success. There's no happiness. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. But you have a new opportunity that you would absolutely love. You do. There's an opportunity. Um, you could be receiving um, a message or good news that is very welcome and unexpected and stable and secure. You have a new opportunity for security and stability and emotional support. Okay? But you need to Forgive yourself, because this is forgiveness is needed. You need to forgive yourself for rejecting this other offer. Okay, there's no chance there. You're fighting the truth. You're fighting the truth, which is sucky. But it's, it's, you're, and you're fighting this wake, an awakening. You're fighting, this is a wake up call, but it's not happening. You're fighting it. You're not aware of what could... This is lack of awareness, the judgment reversed. You're not fully aware that you. this new opportunity is begging you to take it. It is. It is. Son of a bitch. But you're resisting this change, which is causing you the stress I was telling you about. You have a lot of self-doubt. You know, you doubt that if you leave this, this situation, whatever it is, that it will be secure and stable in the future and that you will be emotionally content. But that's where you need to believe and you need to have faith and you need to have trust. What can I say? You're only harming yourself. You're deceiving yourself by staying in this situation that... I don't see any success. I think there's a new opportunity for love and security elsewhere. But you're just so doubtful and scared to take the next step. To make that difficult decision. It's causing restlessness, detachment, and withdrawal. And unhappiness. When you do have an opportunity for emotional support, you do. Emotional contentment, happiness, and stability. If you were to step, take the next step, you will have, because these are mirroring each other. Make that difficult decision. You will find something stable and secure. Fear, and it, you know, I'm going to get somebody to say, I have no fear. Well, then this reading's not for you. Why are you watching it? If you don't have no fear, then you're fucking invincible. I have no fear. Bullshit. You, rejection is all over the place. This is rejection as well, rejecting an offer. You can't, you're, you're too afraid to reject somebody or something. 
or you're afraid to get rejected. And right now, right now, there's a lack of organization. There's a lack of structure. Things can be a little chaotic. There's control issues. Somebody's trying to keep things under control when things are not in control because that's the way the universe works. And somebody, this is harmful. Harming the family? Because this is the family. There's no victory and success with this family? What the hell is that? Well, I got two. No. It's, there's, there's, see? There isn't. This, there's incompatibility. There's too many arguments. Somebody has a really big ego. Somebody um, has a lot of pride here. And another reason why they're still holding on is because of pride. But there's too much, there's too much incompatibility. There's disharmony. There's discontentment. There's imbalance. Arguments. Somebody could be wanting to break up or there could be a breakup this week. This could be work or home or job, whatever. This is ending of a partnership, but, you know, there's kids involved or family involved, whatever. And that can go the same way for a job. You know, you guys are staying someplace for financial reasons. This is about ego, and that's what it is. This, and I'm sorry to tell you this, and I'm Virgo rising, okay? It's the ego talking when you stay in a situation for financial reasons. I'm serious. It is. Look at all these things we have, we've built together, but there's no love. There ain't. Now, whether this is a relationship or job, I don't know. And this will not resonate with every single person. This will resonate with whoever it is meant to resonate with. There is a situation here where there's anger, there's resent, there is loss of concentration. Somebody is going through a midlife crisis. They have to make a decision. Do I stay or do I go? Right now, there's so much lack of balance that things are a freaking mess, Virgo. And it's because you guys are letting your ego drive. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you that. I don't like that at all. I love you guys. I really do. You're staying in a situation just for the financial aspects of it. It's secure and safe, and that is not what God wants. <laughs> I'm sorry. God gave, and I don't know if you believe in God, but whatever, I'm going to tell you this, us enough to survive. Seriously. Think about the Empress. The Empress gets by on who she is. Her, her beauty. Everybody comes to help her because she's beautiful. She's, she's kind. She doesn't have much and she doesn't need much to survive. That's what the Empress is. She's learned. She's got a lot of life experience behind her back. She's learned a lot of life lessons. She knows she doesn't need. She does. She's an older woman, typically, or somebody that could be younger that's already learned, but whatever. Anyway, she's learned that you don't need to have all those things to be happy. She's abundant without all those things. She's wise. She's wisened up. So, you know, because she's learned. She's learned some serious lessons in her life. That's why she's the empress. But I don't think that, I'm sorry that you guys are on me. I'm not going to butter this up for you guys. I'm just not. Or sugar it, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of ego here. Ego is holding, ego, unhappy relationship is holding somebody back. You know, unhappy partnership. You know, it could be because of the children as well. But it's harming the children. It is, because this is harming and this is the family. It is, it is. It's If you stay in a situation and you have children that is unhealthy, whether it's job or at home, don't think they aren't f picking up on that. Even if you can, you can hide it to your blue in the face, they feel energies, especially children. The Empress would know that. If Mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. And that is the truth.
Anyway, Virgo, I feel like this is a week of isolation. You're probably isolated because that's the first card. That hermit card is you came out first in reverse. I think you're isolating yourself because you're not happy. You know you have to make a change. But there's going to be a loss of money and assets. There is. Fact of the matter is, it's if you do it, you will find a new opportunity that is not only secure, it's emotionally fulfilling. Anyway, I'm not going to get any more of those cards. Somebody has to, to take back control of their lives. There's a new opportunity for security and stability being offered to you. This is the hand of God. Here is your new opportunity. And you're going to love it. But you have to forgive yourself and you need to answer the call. And you need to stop doubting. You need to stop worrying about the what ifs. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Take that next step. Make that decision. You have a new door waiting for you to go through it. Right now you're stuck in a partnership that is less than happy. Whether it's at job or at home. And ego is the staying factor. We need some advice here. We need a card of advice. What is the advice? Two cards of advice for Virgo. Two cards of advice. What, what should they do here? Well, we already know what they should do. They've been told what to do, but they aren't listening. God damn it. Excuse my language. Listen to your intuition. Holy shit. You, you know, you know, the script has already been written. Trust your intuition. Trust it. Be your own boss. Take the lead. Be strong. This is the strong king. Be strong. Have strength. Have confidence. Have courage. Take the lead. Do the honorable thing. Get creative. Go out on your own. Go out on your own. Be strong. And follow your intuition. You know what you need to do and you've known for probably two years it ain't gonna get better just saying stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance positive think remember I said you need to have faith and trust Oh my God. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize, son of a bitch. You are. You really are. What are you waiting for? I think I ask you this every freaking reading. Talk to you later.